What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler, and this CIF Boys Basketball video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company, and all of our J-Town coverage is sponsored by John Ross. Thank you to all of our sponsors, and welcome to the Division 4A quarterfinals here in J-Town. Jordan hosting the Kate Rams from Carpinteria, led by 6'8 senior Babakar Puye. There on the right, he had a big game, but Jordan is back at home for some town business tonight and they would deliver looking for a quarterfinal win here on Ron Massey Court and the first two of the night goes to two Frankie Chambers with the bang out a fitting start to this game you'll see why but the Rams had some fight in them Marcus Scudder the and one as the visitors had the early lead and Jordan's gotten off to slow starts we, we've seen that throughout the year they can be a little uh take a little while to get their footing Chambers had his footing all night long as he answers with the three then kicks one out. Dennis Redmond going to drill that triple. The outside shots were falling as Frankie hits again. Then Davion Chisholm with the two-hand volleyball block. Chambers brings it the other way, drops the dime to Redmond. That is vintage J-Town basketball. But Puye, a matchup problem all night, getting on the offensive glass, keeping Kate right in this ball game for large stretches. J-Town's offense, though, sharing it so well, getting great looks as that's Jerome Wilson with the two. Then Davion going to drive and go with the reverse lay right there. Then Redmond. Good jump stop, finds Chambers with the Hezzy. Two more for Frank. Jamar Andrews next to get an easy one as Redmond couldn't have put it on a platter any better. Then back-to-back -back Chambers dimes. Jamari Redmond going to splash this three ball. Then Chisholm, an easy one to beat the buzzer for halftime as J-Town goes into the locker room up by 13, 48-35. That's a lot of offense in the first half. Then Re Dennis Redman just took over in the third quarter, gets the assist to Jerome, then the layoff off the feed from Kane Young. It'll eventually drop. Then off the steal, that is an and one for the senior. He had 22 points, 14 of them came in the second half, and they needed them, honestly, because... Babacar Puye was a problem. He was 6 of 10 on threes. He's 6'8 and can hit the triple like this. He had 36 points, 17 rebounds, and 6 blocks. So tip of the cap to him coming into the north and doing that. But, ooh, look at J-Town being J-Town. Chisholm block, Redmond dime to Chambers for the layup and the big grin. He wasn't done smiling, believe me. Dennis with another three ball from the corner. Then he's going to dish it to Chambers. Give me all three of these. Northside all the way live after that one went in. The, they, they just want to party. They can feel it coming. It was a big night for Frankie. He's still got one left in the chamber. Oh, wee! That is one for your head chop right there. J-Town was going crazy after that one. That was too tough. I mean, you better put your hard hat on if you're coming to J-Town because uh, Chambers at any point can strike like that. It wasn't quite 36 Chambers of death, but Frankie did drop 29 tonight. Yeah, protect your neck in J-Town as they win it by 15. The Panthers are the highest remaining seed in this bracket. They are at Pacifica Christian in Santa Monica on Friday night in the semis. 562 is celebrating our five-year anniversary with a fundraiser on GoFundMe. Help us Continue to cover the Long Beach community the way only the 562 can. If you're able to contribute, please do so. And if you want the rest of the winter playoffs coverage, including J-Town's journey for a potential CIF championship, you got to stay tuned right here to the 562.org.